two inches in height, two inches in reach. Guillaume weighed in a pound and a half under the limit, has put on six and a half pounds since. Trinidad has added nine to bring a four pound advantage into the ring tonight. Punch stat numbers, Larry. A lot of numbers. What does it mean? Theom's 93 punches around were made against fighters that weren't household names anywhere except in their own households. If he can do half as well as this against Trinidad, we might have a fight. Both of them throw jabs, but mainly are known for their big punching power. Rules of the bout with our unofficial ringside score. That's almost all of them in France. Installed Trinidad as a 30 to 1 favorite. But if you've watched Mamadou punch on home, you tend to give him a little better shot than that. Overall record for Tiam, 33 wins, only one loss early in his career, 30 KOs. But when Trinidad was fighting Pernell Whitaker, Tiam was fighting Alexander Parabochikov. When Trinidad was fighting Oscar De La Hoya, he... Only his second fight since moving up to 154. Once again, a referee in charge of the bout. Now to give instructions, Jorge Alonso. Really that? Mamadou! Mamadou, right here. Tito, acá. All right, fighters, I gave you the instructions earlier in the dressing room today, all right? Remember my instructions, obey my commands at all times, and protect yourself at all times. Any questions from this corner? Any questions from this corner? No. At the bell, come out and give me a clean fight. Let's go. Touch him up. Touch him up. Give me that. Come here. Come here. Right here. They bounce through. It's too early to start that. Let's go. <laughs> Jim, it's axiomatic in boxing that a fighter as good and distinguished as Trinidad can only be beaten in his prime by himself if he hasn't taken care of business and preparation for a fighter of this caliber. He's not that kind of fighter, or at least he hasn't been in the past. But Felix Trinidad is a notoriously slow starter. So too is Mamadou Tiam. It'll be interesting to see if one of the two tries to step up and take advantage of the other in that regard. And of course, as you know, Trinidad has been down in the early rounds of a half dozen fights in his career, including the last one against David Reed. Every time he got up to knock the man out in front of him. Tito's got no sweat on his body. Dry body. Mamadou as well, but he seems to be a little looser. You see the veins in his arm. Means he's done some shadow boxing in the dressing room. Should every fighter warm to a lather in the dressing room, George? Well, the warmer you are, the better. You don't want to be out there cold and get hit on the chin. Evidently, that's been a, a habit of Trinidad. He probably has not learned his art for warming up in the dressing room. Everybody's got their own. Great jab from Trinidad as he backs up. Mamadou has got to be careful and steady. If you knock him down, don't try to finish him. You've thrown 300 right hands in the gym. Don't try to throw 600 in the fight. Win every round. Knock him down every round. Don't try to finish him off. And Trinidad, of course, use your jab, stiff it, keep it stiff. Go to the body to make certain this guy doesn't get his coordination going for throwing double left, double right. First round, tentative. Both fighters seeming just to try to get their legs under them a little bit. Trinidad with the right hand leading now. Big left uppercut and left hook. First serious combination of the fight. And now Tiam stunned by the left. He's never faced a fighter with Trinidad's punching power before. And Tiam obviously taken back by Felix Trinidad's strength. Tiam still wobbling as Trinidad
just got hit with a lot of shots. He had his gloves in front of his face. That hurts. And it pushes your thumb into your eye. That might have happened. Because Tiam's right eye is in bad shape. and couldn't handle Felix's punch when first he felt it. Trinidad better finish him out because this guy has the capability of becoming stronger as the fight goes on. You heard him, don't let him recover. What about the eye, George? Well, the eye is in bad shape, but if you get a little confidence with a bad eye, you can abstain. You don't want him to get that confidence. You heard him, finish him out. Mamadou made the mistake of standing in front and following a big puncher. You don't do that. You go left and right, then go to him. And they told us that he had worked in the gym on a new fight plan, that he had worked in the gym on doing something different, and the something different would be to go side to side and be more elusive. But of course, if you've had 33 fights and you've done one thing, that's what you're likely to do when you get into the ring. Mamadou is more effective when he can get in a right, double he can give you trouble. He hasn't gotten it going yet. Now he tries to come with the left hook. Mamadou seeming to understand that his best defense here will be a good offense. And now he begins to try to put Trinidad back on his heels by attacking and keeping it going. Trinidad, you see, he moves to Mamadou's left because that eye just, to his left, I'm sorry, Mamadou's right eye is just doesn't see a thing. Right. So Trinidad's moving toward the bad eye to set up and attack that target. You can, you can stay out of harm's way whenever you want. Go up to, his, to his left when you want to hit him, then go back to the, to the right for safety. Yeah, I'm chasing Trinidad and trying to seize the initiative. Trinidad will look for an opportunity to counter with his left hand. Mamadou had better be very careful when he throws the right. Trinidad had better establish his left jab because this guy's tasted his best stuff now. Now he's going to come on. You lose a lot of energy trying to knock him out. And he's coming on. And Tiam knocks Trinidad back with a right hand. Low blow from Trinidad. Tiam walks through it. This guy is strong. And you know, he hasn't got his rhythm going yet. But that eye is going to be the telling story tonight. Another huge left hook from Felix Trinidad. who can take the punishment and still be there. Had not been for that left eye, this could be a different story. Another uppercut starts his team. Right eye, I'm sorry. Uh-oh. With the eye shut like that, uh -oh. cannot see the left hand coming. Cannot see the left hand coming. From the doing big damage in the last 30 seconds of the round. Absolutely. Very strong. I haven't, I very rarely have ever seen Trinidad starting off the fight circling his opponent. It's the opponent who circled away from him. But he has shown some respect for the fact that this guy is very strong. And then in the second half of the round, he goes at him. That's punch, what, punch that numbers in round two. Trinidad 19 of 45. Tiam 19 of 57. Mamadou has just never run into that kind of power before. Some fighters know about it, and some have never seen it. This is a new thing for him. You just can't cover up. You got to move your head and your and your body. You just can't hold your, your hands up this time. Poignant sight between rounds. As the ring doctor leaned in over the ropes to try to get a look at Tiam's right eye, Mamadou's father, here from France, stepped up on the apron and leaned in with him. He wanted to see how his son was doing. Chance. He 
because he is that hungry to win. Hey, Tion commits to his punches too. Well, he commits, but he just doesn't have what nature has given Trinidad. Just power, it's also technique, I think, George. Oh, no, 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 this is pure technique. power. Some guys can do the same thing and nothing happens. The right this eye is grotesque. Gift. The right He's eye is strong. swollen, completely shut, totally grotesque. Not sure how long the doctor will let Tion continue, particularly since he can't see Felix's left hand coming. Trinidad doesn't have big arms. He doesn't have exceptionally big shoulders. It's and like he looks Bob, stiff-legged in there sometimes. Yeah, it's like Bob Foster. They just do something. And Dion can't have any more. Dion asked the referee to stop the fight. His right eye simply too bad for him to continue. Yeah. You hate to see them do it, but it wasn't going to get any better for him. Well, you know, that's a, that's a great fight. You, you know he is. He wouldn't have quit unless he found the situation just impossible. He just has never seen that kind of power delivered to him. From the first look, uppercut left hook combination, that was look it. look at Trinidad, he just doesn't seem to have to look for uppercuts. He has. So in closing it out in round three, Felix Trinidad landed 29 of 46 power shots. And it would have been that way it would have been target practice as long as they continued. Tell you about Delahoya fighting a very smart fight. Never did stop moving at all. Yep. No, Delahoya's first seven rounds against Trinidad were as masterful as masterful can be. When he was sucking up fire, he kept moving. Trinidad is one of those guys that you look at and it's all in his face. Something inside of him. We call it the gift. <laughs> Born to fight. As Larry Merchant said, God had a fighter in mind. That's true. Larry called that one right. Well, so now the ball into Fernando Vargas's court. And Vargas, coming off of his huge win over Ike Quarte, will try to beat a mandatory challenger named Ross Thompson in August to set himself up for a meeting with Trinidad. Let's look back at some of the damage that was done toward the end. And that's when Mamadou Tiam decided he had enough. You can see how badly swollen the eye was. And Tiam seemed to realize that Trinidad's left hand is his big weapon. There was nothing he was going to be able to do to stop it. And you think about it, this guy made Trinidad fight a fight. He wasn't even intending to fight. He was in his face from round, from bell to bell. Yep. Get up off the campus, get right back into his face. I think he made Trinidad a better fighter tonight. Hello, mi gente, I love you, Puerto Rico. Mañana espero. Six. Tito, a notoriously slow starter, as we told you at the beginning of the fight, forced to come out and start a little faster by the aggressive style of Tiam. And after he landed the first uppercut, took combination and broke up Tiam's eye. He had a target to work with, and there was every reason to continue to be aggressive. 72 out of 118 power punches. If Felix Trinidad does that against you, you're going home early, and you're going home hurt, and that's what's happening with Mamadou Tiam. Heck of a performance by Trinidad, and one more thing, George, he looks so comfortable at 154 pounds. Well, like Larry said, God had him in mind when he made a boxer. Yep. This